You know, one thing about many people in their in this country are very dishonest. You know, and as you grow, you learn, ladies and gentlemen. And one of the things they have always pushed heavily is the poorest areas in the country are in the inner cities. And that's a lie. It's always been a lie. It's always will be a lie. Please understand that. I have been to many of these rural towns you know, I told you guys, my parents come from rural America and there are some shacks back up in those places that are so ran down and so raggedy. It's not even funny. I've seen those places and I know many of you out there have seen those places too. Let's not act like poverty is only concentrated in inner city urban areas. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. I've seen those trashy shacks up in there. I've seen them. I've seen the trailers with junk all through the front yard and all over the yard. I've seen those houses too. Those trailers. Junky yards boarded up windows because the windows aren't there anymore. I've seen it all. So you, you're going to have a hard time coming to me and convincing me poverty is just limited to the inner city. Good luck with that one. See, Trump has opened up a major can of worms, y'all. See, a lot of people that have lived life long enough in America and traveled around know that these poor slummy areas are everywhere. The dishonest people will tell you they're only in the inner city. The people that are honest with you know this shit is way, way beyond the city. So people, after he criticized, Trump criticized Baltimore, calling it mouse infested. Not only did they find out his son-in-law was a slumlord and had mouse infested apartments and apartment buildings with all kinds of code violations, they also posted pictures of homelessness and poverty in Republican distri uh, districts across the country. So don't let these people try to clown you out and make it seem like poverty is with black people only. They've been trying to tell that lie forever. I knew even when I was a kid, they were full of shit. <laughs> okay. I, I knew then I, I saw white people living out of cars when I was a child, y'all. I saw it when I was a kid. Growing up in Philly, we would go into center city and you would see them sleeping and living in their cars so no you you will never convince me poverty is only in one place so i don't know why he went there y'all but he went there and people are going all over twitter showing trump you know what there's some rat infested places in Republican districts to Trump. Critics of Trump responded to his recent labeling of Elijah Cummings congressional district in Maryland as disgusting and rodent infested with photos of neighborhoods in Republican controlled districts that also appeared to be rife with homelessness poverty and waste. Trump on Saturday railed against Cummings in Baltimore about, <clears throat> excuse me, about half of which falls in the congressman district, calling the city disgusting, rat and rodent infested. You know, you're talking about Americans, Trump, but I guess that's just alluding you. You think um, if you attack Elijah Cummings that you know, you, you took it way beyond that. It's one thing if you're talking about a person. Now you are 
attacking the American citizens that live there too. You can't say that you're not. You brought this all up. Rather than decry or disavow the president's remark, Trump allies and conservative media outlets like Fox News attempted to bolster his claim by sharing photos and videos of destitute, dirty portions of Maryland metropolis. Well, White House uh, Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney said Sunday that he have been fired from running his former South Carolina congressional district if it had as much crime and homelessness. But Trump's critics began pointing out these images were cherry-picked and failed to tell the whole story of Baltimore or many suburban and rural communities, including Cummings District. They also posted pictures of their own neighborhood blighted by poverty and crime. What's more, these photos were reportedly taken in congressional districts and states controlled by staunch Republican Trump defenders, including Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Oh, yeah, I've seen them ran down places in, in Kentucky. They're right about that. And uh, Devane Nunez District in California, San Joaquin Valley in Fresno. The photos showed desperate scenes of poverty and waste and largely rural and agriculture areas held by members of the GOP. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. People are serious. They're not playing around with Trump. I can't believe the conditions in Baltimore. Wait, I'm sorry. These aren't from Baltimore. They're from the places at Jim Jordan and Senator, uh, Senator Major Leader Represent. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Poverty, tent cities. Yeah. Somebody snapped these pictures and put them up on Twitter showing that these Republican district has a lot of rat infestation, poverty, and destitute people. Here's some more. This is a Republican district. This is South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, and Matt Getz. Okay, this is their districts. Look at that, y'all. Woo, he shouldn't have went there. He should not have gone there. Here's some more. People are serious. They post in. These are Republican districts. Man, that looks like something you would see in Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Wow. Here's more. These are Republican district. These are from the places at Stephen King, Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, and Gomert. Louis Gomert. Look at this. Okay, see, th these people are being very disingenuous, ladies and gentlemen. I, I heard it my whole life. Oh, the inner city. Oh, the inner city. And they try to make it seem like that is the worst place on earth. Now, look at these pictures. Would you choose the inner city or live here? No damn way somebody would choose to live in these pictures that you see. You would take the inner city any day. Okay, you would.
But this is what people put up. And this is Appalachia, the big white ghetto. And the week put this one out. Appalachia, the big white ghetto. And I've been in parts of Appalachia. It is, woo, you couldn't put me in any of them. Those ran down shacks up in there, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, you couldn't do it. But you got people, like I said, that are very disingenuous, big time, you know. And as I stated before, you live long enough, you'll realize these people just tell so many lies. They really do. They really do. If you listen to them, you might believe them for a split second and then you'll be like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. And then you start researching and learning and growing. And trust me, you'll come to the same conclusion. We have been taught nothing but lies. We've been taught nothing but lies about everything. Okay. During Trump's Saturday rant against Baltimore, he described Cummings District as far worse and more dangerous than the southern border in Mexico and claimed his district is considered the worst in the U.S. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please go back. I did a video on New York, where Trump is from, from New York, in the areas that are being gingerfied. Rats are running all over the damn street. And I had a video showing the rats running around. The people said you can't turn the corner without seeing a whole herd of rats just running everywhere. That was in New York. That was in New York. Trump's from New York. What he is describing is actually happening in his own state. You can go back and find that video. I have it out there. That was in New York with them rodents running all over the place on the streets and the sidewalks and everywhere. And they're tearing buildings down and building stuff up and those rats are just running rampant all over New York. So him making this comment is really, boy, this man is so out of touch. It's not even funny. But many left-leaning Twitter users defended Democratic-held districts across the U.S., noting that eight out of 10 states with the lowest poverty levels are blue states and eight out of nine states with the highest level of poverty are red states, according to census data. But you know what's funny? Those people that live in those red states will still insist they are better than you. And it is a load of bullshit, y'all. It really is. So look like Fox News tried to jump on the bandwagon with Trump and support what he was talking about. And the people are on Twitter, the citizens are on Twitter, and they are fighting back. Let me just see what this is. Okay, so this is West Virginia, Alex Mooney, his district. Okay, wow, that looks really ran down, don't it? I've seen places like this in rural America. Like I said, my parents are from rural America, so I was in and out of rural America all the time. Wow. Yeah, that does look kind of, you know, so people are definitely firing back. This is Matt Getz and Lindsey Graham's district. Yeah, some of these we already saw before. 
and whoo you know instead of talking about the country like that trump just understand poverty has been in america for centuries and for too long these folks tried to make everybody on the planet believe poverty is just limited to black areas and it is the most disingenuous thing. No, fuck that disingenuous thing. They're fucking lying, okay? <laughs> okay? Y'all, they are lying, plain and simple. You know, I've been through these poor areas. I know where they are, and I've been through them, and I've seen them with my own two eyes. I've seen these tents up with trash all around them. I've seen that too. I've seen trailers with all kinds of trash and garbage in the front of the yard. I've seen that. And I've seen some of these shacks in rural America so ran down. I can't believe anybody lives in them things, but they do. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.